Hi guys, it's Dee here from Crypto Elite Alcons, and for today's video, I'm going to explain you how to set up your MetaMask wallet, how to set up Binance Smart Chain on MetaMask, how to use Uniswap Exchange and PancakeSwap Exchange. I'm also going to explain how to add liquidity to the pools, how to use the farming pools, and how you can stake your tokens to generate interest. So let's start. First thing you need is to install your MetaMask wallet on your browser. So if you go to the MetaMask website, you will have the option to download the desktop application, but we don't want to do that. What we want is to install the Chrome extension. So for this, we are gonna go to more tools, extensions, and then on the bottom of extensions, you will go to open Chrome Web Store. Here you will search for MetaMask. You get the top one and we will add this to Chrome. Add extension, it will take just a few seconds. There you go. And that's it, we have the extension here. We are going to pin it to keep it there. So let's start. First, we have two options. One, import our wallet if we already have one, or create a new one. For this video, we are just going to create a new one. OK, we click Agree. And then it's going to ask you to set up a password for the wallet. The password, Agree. And this next step, it's going to ask you to keep your seed phrase, okay? This is very important. If you ever lose access to your wallet, the only way to recover will be by using uh, this seed phrase. So very important to keep this safe. Uh, yeah, we are not going to save it for the sake of this video. We're just going to click Remind Me Later. And that's pretty much it. We have the wallet set up. I'm ready to go. As you can see, by default, we have Ethereum mainnet set up, but we will also add the Binance Smart Chain, which is not set there by default. To do that, we're going to go to this site. I'm going to leave all, sorry guys, just here. I'm going to leave all these links under the description so you will be able to find them quickly and the first one will be this web from binance where we get all the information to set up the binance smart chain on metamask okay the first thing we need to get the rpc url we click here and we are going to choose the top recommended one okay copy that and then we go back because we are going to need this information so we go back, now we click on MetaMask, we click on the networks and we click on custom RPC. Click there. We're gonna set the name that we want. For this one, we're gonna call it Binance Smart Chain. We now paste the information that we copy from the RPC URLs. Chain ID, we use 56, as you can see here in decimals, okay? Yes, you see, guys, if you click outside the MetaMask, uh, you have to go back. So just for your awareness, you have to start again because I already test that. I have all the information there. So Binance Smart Chain, we copy and paste the URL. Chain ID, we use number 56. Symbol will be BNB. And then the Block Explorer will be this URL here is bscan.com. Once we get all that, we click on save. And we now have Binance Smart Chain here configured, okay? So first thing to be aware, um, every time we go to a specific uh, chain that works with Ethereum or with Binance, we are gonna have to swap the wallets, okay? We're gonna have to swap from Ethereum to Binance and you will see why now. So now we're gonna move to Uniswap. Our wallets are configured. We have the wallets ready to use. 
we go to the Uniswap website, we click on use Uniswap, and we are gonna have uh, the exchanges that we want to get here, okay? First thing we need to do is to connect our wallet, but I want to show you what happens if you don't have the right wallet, okay? Uniswap, Uniswap works with ERC20, with Ethereum, and now, as you see, we have the Binance Smart Chain here. So what happens when we try to connect MetaMask? We click here, we click next, connect, and as you see, it says that there is an issue with the wrong network. Okay, that's because we are on the Binance Smart Chain. So for this, we have to come here. We have to select Ethereum mainnet. Okay, now we are with our Ethereum wallet. And now you can see that automatically it's configured to use on Uniswap, okay? Now that our wallet is linked, the only thing we have to do is add some tokens. We don't have any tokens at the moment. Uh, we just created the wallet, but say that you send some Ethereum here on your wallet and you want to swap those tokens for any of the tokens that are available in Uniswap, okay? You would select the token that you want, say this one, for example, and we are just set. We want to change one Ethereum for Maker, okay? Obviously, now we don't have any Ethereum in our wallet and it's telling us that there is insufficient Ethereum balance, but we can see here when we select what's the current exchange and then we're going to see what's the price impact. Here, it's very important uh, to have a, a look at this before we do any, any swaps. The reason why it's because if we have a pair that doesn't have a lot of liquidity, we are going to see that the price difference is very high and this will impact on the final price of the swap. So I would never recommend you to do anything that has more than 1% uh, of price impact here, okay? So for this one, we would have what we see, we're happy with exchange. We would click on swap and we would get a uh, windows here asking us to confirm the transaction. It's going to tell us what are the fees. Uh, if we are happy with the fees, uh, we would click on OK, and then we will wait for the, trans, uh, for the transition to happen. I don't think that anyone will be happy with the fees at the moment, but if you want to go ahead, you click OK, and then you will wait until the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain and you will receive your tokens on your wallet, OK? Sometimes, uh, just for awareness, you will try to search for tokens that are not here. Uh, so what you have to do is you can go here, you can add the token by searching here. And as you see, we already have super added, but maybe we have a token that we're not seeing. And we, when we click here, we see that we can import the token. OK, we can click here on import. And now it's going to show on the wallet. Also, if you click on manage, you can enable different uh, exchanges that have different tokens in case that you're not seeing those tokens. It could be that the token you're looking for is under one of those. So you can just click on activate them on, on, or also you can add the contract of the token in particular, and then it will add the token name automatically in your wallet. Okay. So as you see, it's pretty straightforward. I know if you never use Uniswap or any decentralized exchanges, it could be a bit intimidating at the beginning. But once you have used it uh, the first time, you will see that it's very, very easy. OK, so now that we know who to use uh, Uniswap uh, to exchange some tokens, we are going to have a look at PancakeSwap. And you will see it's pretty much the same. OK, so we'll come to Pancake swap, as you can see, the same as in Uniswap. If we try to connect our wallet, because now we are on Ethereum, it's not gonna do anything. So what we have to do, go to MetaMask and change to Binance Smart Chain, okay? Now that we are on Binance, we click on connect again, we click on MetaMask, and now it's gonna link our wallets, okay? I don't know why it's not linking it. Now, oh, there you go. Click on Next, Connect, and now our wallet and exchange are linked. 
So the same as Uniswap, okay? Uh, we don't have any tokens on the wallet because we just created it. Uh, but you say that we have 10 Binance tokens there and we want to swap those tokens for any of the tokens here available. Search for the token, okay? It's gonna say what's the current exchange for 10 Binance. Same as Uniswap, say what's the price impact based on the liquidity. And then if we are happy with the fees, we would click swap. We will get message to confirm. If we're happy with the fees, probably you'll be happier than the ones you saw on Uniswap. You click confirm and then after a few seconds, you'll get the tokens in your wallet. Okay, pretty straightforward, same as Uniswap. And the other two things that I wanted to show you uh, are the liquidity pools and the farms, okay? They are a bit more complex to operate, but still uh, the same when you when you've used them once, uh, you'll see that it's pretty straightforward. So first thing, liquidity, okay? What's the liquidity? By adding liquidity to the exchange, we are adding liquidity to anyone that wants to swap uh, two tokens. Uh, but to do that, we have to have both tokens available on our, our wallet, and then we have to add the liquidity of the pair to the pool, okay? So for that, what we would do is come here, liquidity. We would add liquidity by adding the two tokens that we want to add. So for example, will be Binance and Cake. And now we will see what's the percentage of one token we have to add for the other one. Say that we want to add one Binance and it's gonna tell us, okay, if you want to add one Binance for one Binance, also you have to have 18.9 cake tokens, okay? If we are happy, we would click on confirm. We will get a confirmation on MetaMask. And then when the transaction is finished, what we are gonna receive, it's a token that it's formed by those two tokens, okay? It's gonna be an LP token, and you will get the amount that you generate by those creating this pair, okay? So say that, I don't know, we have by doing this pair, we generate five LP cake Binance tokens. So we will have these tokens here. And now that we have the liquidity token created, we will come to the farms. Next, connect. And then we have all the farms with the pairs of the tokens here, okay? Because the one we created was the Binance cake token. It's this one here. We will come here, approve contract. We will have to approve this uh, connection. You will see that it charges a small fee uh, to, to do the transaction. But if we are happy with it, we will click her, there, approve contract. And then we will be able to add the liquidity to this pool. OK, you will have the percentage of profits that it generate per year, it's generating per year, which in that case, it's 135% a year but the tokens will be generated every second, okay? You will see that the amount of tokens uh, keeps growing per seconds. If you leave your tokens there for a while, you can come here after you click on harvest and you will import all the tokens that are generated to your wallet. And also when you say, well, that's me, I don't wanna stake them anymore. You will click here, you will remove the token from the pool and just doing the opposite. You will come back to liquidity. You will search for the pair that you have, which was Binance K. And then you will have an option here to remove liquidity. You will click there and your Binance and Cake token will go back to your wallet, okay? Then you have pools, okay? Pools it's a similar concept, but instead of staking pairs, you are staking a single token, okay? For this one, for example, uh, we have Cake and what we would do, it's if we have some cake on our wallet, we, click, we approve here, we create the link, and then we would click on stake all our tokens on that pool, okay? And the same as the other one, it will start generating. For this one in particular, it will generate cake. If we put sushi on this one, for example, sushi token, it will generate cake as well. If we put this one, on this one, it will generate the open tokens. You will have 
all the tokens that are generated here, okay? You will stake your cake and you will get those rewards that are named here. And to remove the tokens, it's the same. You can remove them anytime. You would click on own stake, uh, remove the tokens and they will go back to your wallet. Okay, as you see, it's pretty straightforward process. There are another few feeder, feeders on PancakeSwap, like the lotteries that you have, then you have the IFOs that are the new projects that are coming in. Uh, you see Solteria, you have Berry, which is the latest one. And then also you have NTFs that you can buy with your cake tokens here. Okay, pretty cool features. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that uh, it helped you to understand a little bit more how Uniswap works. I know that some of the tokens that we post on our Telegram and Facebook page are on Uniswap, and that could be maybe a disadvantage from some of you, because if you never use these exchanges, um, you kind of feel, you don't feel confident enough to, to use them, but I hope that after this video, you see that it's a pretty straightforward process and everyone can do it. Okay, so if you like this video, please click on subscri subscribe, click on like, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.